All right, fans, coming back at you, man, with week three of the franchise here. And I couldn't resist, guys. I couldn't resist after the Minka Fitzpatrick trade, after Big Ben Roethlisberger went down. I couldn't resist, man. I said, you know what? We're going to start this off right. We're going to make this thing a little more interesting, a little more hard on my part. We're going to definitely kick it off from week three, 0-2, facing the Niners. No Ben Roethlisberger and Minka Fitzpatrick. Hopefully, he can help bolster that defense this should be very very interesting guys and i promise you guys no more starting over this should be the starting point this should be a lot of fun can mason rudolph in his first nfl start go into san francisco and get a victory we shall see see you on the field All right, here we are, guys. The Niners are going to get the ball first. Garoppolo is going to go into the air first, and they pick up a solid gain there of seven yards. And look at this. Breida picks up the first down using his lineman for leverage there. First and ten, they're going to hand it off to Tevin Coleman. And he's unable to get anything going. Second and eight. Garoppolo is going to drop back, surveys the field, tries to go deep, but Joe Hayden is there. Great coverage by Joe Hayden downfield. We got to look out for those deep shots there. Third and eight. Garoppolo is going to drop back. Has plenty of time. Checks it down to his back. And Tevin Coleman able to get the first down there off a nice reception. And here comes George Kittle in motion here. First and ten. Garoppolo is going to go play action fake. Looking downfield. Downfield. And yes, he's able to connect with a receiver there. Mike Hilton unable to get there in time. And here come the Niners, man, already up to the 22-yard line of the Pittsburgh Steelers. An errant throw there on second and eight. Third and eight, Garoppolo is going to come back here with the shotgun formation. Checks it down. Unfortunately enough, man, the Steelers are able to get all over top of that. And they're going to limit it to a field goal try on fourth and two. And just like that, the Niners are up. Three to zero here early in the first quarter. Here comes Mason Rudolph, first career start as we look at his numbers from last week against Seattle. Did a relatively decent job filling in for Roethlisberger, but he is the man of the hour now. Let's see what happens. He's going to go RPO, finds Juju. Juju able to pick up a quick five yards, second and five. And let's see what's going to happen here. Handing it off to James Conner. James Conner breaking tackles and able to get a nice sizable gain there on first down, first and ten. From the 39-yard line, Grimble in motion here. They're going to hand it off to James Conner again, trying to run the power. Only got a few yards there. Second and six. Well, more yards than I expected. And they're going to go right back to Conner on the inside zone. And nothing doing there. Good discipline tackling there by the Niners. Third and five. Rudolph is going to find Juju Smith-Schuster across the middle. Nice location on that ball. Good ball placement there to get Juju down and out of harm's way. To keep this drive moving. Beautiful location on that pass right there. Here come the Steelers. Handing it off to Benny Snell. Benny Snell off of the right side. Cuts it back inside and picks up nine on his first attempt. Second and one. They're going to go back to Benny Snell. And he's able to convert the first down. First and ten. Handing it off here to James Conner. James Conner reverses his field there. But still unable to pick up much more than a yard. Second and nine. And Roethlisberger is trying to find McDonald there. Good coverage by the Niners. Third and nine. Mason Rudolph. Woo, a dangerous pass there. Finding Juju across the middle. And look at this. Coach Tomlin is going to go for it here early. Fourth and one. They're going to hand it off to Benny Snell. He stopped. Oh, but he fights and he gets the first down. And still the drive is going to continue. James Conner unable to get on the outside there. Second and ten. And he's going to find Deontay Johnson, who is now starting in place of Moncrie. Third and four. Can they keep their drive going? And Rudolph again to Deontay Johnson. Already paying dividends for the Steelers. On the four-yard line here, handing it off to James Conner. What a huge hole on the left side of that offensive line. And James Conner walks in untouched as the Steelers are able to, able to get on the board here, getting a first uh, touchdown on their first drive. We haven't seen a whole lot of that out of the Pittsburgh Steelers this season. So it's definitely a, a good thing to see here. Let's see what happens on this extra point. What? What? 
Okay, guys, so I got to let you know why I showed you that. Unfortunately, everything is not all fun and games, man, when you're playing Madden. That seems to be a very bad problem. And I'm pretty sure the devs are aware of it, but I wanted to show you guys that because you're going to see it show up again, and it's going to have a huge effect on this game. Don't know what's going on there. Clearly, you know, you saw that I, I kicked the ball the way I was supposed to, and it automatically went wide to the right. So keep an eye on that. We will be coming back to that. So second and eight, man. Here come the Niners. They're trying to move here. Good tackle by Joe Hayden on the RPO pass there. Third and seven. Garoppolo's trying to go deep, and he's able to find Pettis. Nicely thrown ball. Great catch there to keep their drive going. And here go the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. Almost out of position there as Garoppolo was shifting the offense. Tried to match the shifting on the defense. And luckily enough, the Steelers were in good enough position to stop that from being a big game. Here we are, third six. And Garoppolo is going to go deep. And a host of Pittsburgh Steelers in the area able to swat that ball down. I was hoping one of those guys would try to pick it off. But holding them to a field goal, we're cool with that. 6-6, six to six, as it should be 7-6. to six. Again, guys, keep an eye on or keep, uh, you know, keep it in the back of your mind. You're going to see that situation again. But here come the Steelers. Play action fake. And Rudolph able to find Grimble there on the first down. And they're going to try to run the ball on first down here. Nothing doing. James Conner runs into two defenders. Losing four on the play. Second and 14. Rudolph is going to drop back in a dangerous pass. Why would he do that? Testing out Richard Sherman, not a good idea. Luckily enough, that was incomplete. And here he is going back to the right side again. And Juju Smith-Schuster, what a phenomenal catch. Again, ball placement, very key there. Look at this. Juju able to use that footwork and just barely gets it inside. Beautiful catch right there. Here comes James Conner. James Conner. Fairly decent run there, but we got laundry on the field. And usually you know what that means. Yes, it is a holding on Juju Smith-Schuster. So he does one good play, and then he turns around and you know, gets a bad play there. James Washington unable to haul that one in. Second and 18. And Rudolph is just going to find Vance McDonald across the middle there to get a good chunk of that yard, uh, yardage back there. Third and nine. Rudolph is going to drop back. And he's going to wait for Juju Smith-Schuster to clear. And as you can see on fourth and one, we're going to go for it, guys, because we are afraid to kick the field goal. We saw what happened the last time we tried to kick, right? From no, no problem of our own. It was a bug, clearly a bug in the game that's got me a little scared to kick field goals. So here we are, second and 10, 21 seconds left. And a big-time sack, D Ford, fourth and 21. And he has Juju wide open, and Rudolph misses him across the middle. Not the same accuracy that you would see from Ben Roethlisberger, so the ratings are definitely playing out. But wow, that could have been a huge score for the Steelers going into the half. But let's listen in to the sports halftime report. Time for a look around the NFL here in Week Three of the new year. We'll start up at New Era Field, just outside of Buffalo, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the score line. Frank Gore, what a game! Three touchdown runs in the victory. From there, let's get over to Arizona. Check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. Chris Hogan, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get right to the center of the U.S. map and check in on the Chiefs at home in Kansas City. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Baltimore Ravens. This one, not close in the end, 38-15, the final. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected, all tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden. All right, guys, back to action here. Mason Rudolph coming out. Tie ball game here at the halftime, man. And I know this is a lot on his shoulders as he's going to pitch it out. To Benny Snell. Benny Snell Jr. makes a man miss. And he is off to the races. Not the fastest guy, but he's going to get all he can get. Stiff arm. And finally tackled down on the 22-yard line. Benny Snell Jr. Big time run. 59-yard carry. That is how you want to start the drive coming out of the half. And look at this stiff arm, man. Beautifully executed stiff arm. Knowing that he doesn't have the best speed. Got him about another five or six yards there. And here comes James Conner breaking off a decent run. 
Richard Sherman able to bring him down, but not before he gets the first down. They're going to hand it off to Connor again. Went to the well a little too much right there. Well, look at this. Mason Rudolph noticing there's no safety in the middle of the field. He's going to throw it at the Juju, and it's a touchdown. Pittsburgh Steelers. Beautiful recognition by Mason Rudolph noticing that that defense wasn't going to be very advantageous for them. Outstanding. Outstanding recognition. Look at this. Juju Smith shoots the one-on-one. -on -one, that's going to be a mismatch for quite a few corners in the league. And they got to go for two here. Have to go for two because you guys know the kicking situation and Deontay Johnson is able to convert. And here we are, 14-6. to six. And look at this. Vince Williams picks it off but doesn't realize he picked it off. <laughs> Use an error right there. I hit the triangle, guys, because I did not know I had the ball and I did somewhat of a hurdle. But, hey, we'll take it. Vince Williams, the veteran, able to make a nice play, beautifully executed zone coverage there. I believe this was a match concept I was running here. And here comes Mason Rudolph again with great field position. So this is an awesome start to the second half for the Steelers. Handing it off to James Conner. James Conner gets nothing, bottled up. Second and 11. They're going to go to Connor once again. You know, keeping it pretty conservative here. Third and 10. Mason Rudolph in the shotgun. Drops back and oh, he gets hit. As Warner is able to get him. And we're going to try to kick the field goal here. And I forgot that the field goals are not working. What is going on? Come on, EA. What is up with that? What is up with that? 14-6. to six. So We playing everybody. We are playing against the... The Niners playing against EA and the Devs. I don't know what is happening here. They don't want us to score no points. As George Kittle gets a nice pick up there. Play action fake. Garoppolo is going to roll to his right. and goes across the middle. Wide open receiver. Big time hit by Mika Fitzpatrick. And Goodwin. Bit shaken up off of that hit there. But here come the Niners. Look at this. Finding George Kittle all the way down to about the three yard line. And here comes the Niners. Tevin Coleman able to get into the end zone. And just like that, man, it is a ball game once again. The Niners are going to go for two. Can we hold them here? This would be huge. Garoppolo drops back, surveys the field, doesn't really have anything, holding on to it really long. Look at this. Here comes Mark Barron recognizing that Garoppolo was just going to either scramble or continue to hold the rock. Knocks his block off. And the Steelers are able to hold on to a two-point lead here. Here comes Rudolph again. Rudolph is going to throw. No, runs a draw play to James uh, Conner there. Picks up four. Second and six. Handing it off to Conner. Conner looking for room on the right side. Nothing there. Third and five. Mason Rudolph drops back. And he's going to let it go. And once again, a beautifully thrown ball to pick up the first down. Handing it off here to James Conner on first down. It hasn't really been that strong on first down so far. Second and eight. Rudolph is going to drop back, and he fires Juju Smith-Schuster. Very, very close to the first down. Oh, they give him the first down. First and ten from the 47. Handing it off to Conner. Conner makes a man miss. Nice run right there. Finally gets something going on first down. Look at this. The power that James Conner displayed to get that first down. A nice cut off of... The hip of De Castro right there. That was beautiful stuff, James Conner. First and 10, they're going to hand it off to Benny Snell. Benny Snell picks up about four yards there. Second and six. Handing it off to Snell once again. And uh, Snell went to the well too much. D Ford able to bring him down. Third and eight. It looks like Mason Rudolph is going to put a double team on D Ford to try to limit the pressure the best he can. Drops back. And misses Juju Smith-Schuster across the middle once again. And look, guys, got to go for it again. You're kind of in no man's land here on the 40-yard line. Fourth and nine. Throws it up. And he finds Juju Smith-Schuster coming back from left to right. Pitching it out here to James Conner. James Conner gets, I uh, thought he was going to get a block there, but he didn't. Second and nine. Handing it off to Conner once again. Nice cut back there by Conner as he saw Richard Sherman coming on the blitz. Great recognition there. Third and three. And Rudolph is going to find his buddy James Washington. James Washington trying to get everything he can and refuses to go down. Here come the Steelers. First and goal on the seven-yard line. Mason Rudolph is recognizing something there. Tries to hit Juju on the fade. Throws it up, but Juju unable to hold on to it. 
Here they are, second and goal, handing it off to James Conner. Oh, runs over Richard Sherman, but unable to get all the way in. One yard line here as they're milking clock. Gonna hand it off and do the pit. No, they're gonna run a pitch out. And not a great idea there as they're gonna lose a few. Fourth and four. And he's able to find Juju Smith-Schuster in the back of the end zone. That is number two on the day for Juju and Mason Rudolph, if I'm not mistaken. Nice combination there. I'm not really sure what the defenders were doing there. Looks like somebody could have got a hand up there. Look at this. Just for good measure, we're going to try it again. Look at this. Come on, EA. What is happening here? Guys, if you are seeing that or experiencing that in your game, please report it. It probably has already been reported, but that is ridiculous. Imagine if I was playing in a money situation here. Ridiculous. So here we are, man, clinging on to an eight-point lead. Let's see if we can hold it. Garoppolo is going to go in a no huddle here. And he's going to check it down to the back. Good defense here by Devin Bush tackling the catch. A minute and 21 seconds left, second and nine. Garoppolo's going to drop back, goes deep. And I don't know who he's throwing at to. <laughs> Third and nine, Garoppolo dropping back again. Still a center blitz, but they pick it up. And right as the pressure almost got there, Garoppolo gets rid of the ball. Nice conversion down there. They're up to the 40-yard line. First and 10, he's going to check it down again. And a missed tackle by Mark Barrett. No, I believe that was Devin Bush on the missed tackle. Gain of nine, up to the 31, but time looks like it is running out. Great defense there by Mike Hilton to limit that game. Third and inches from the 30. Play action fake. Garoppolo running to the right, throws it deep, and look at this! Steven Nelson able to get inside of that route and picks it off. Free agent acquisition by the Steelers. Oh, let's say free agency acquisition. Beautiful stuff there. Let's look at Steven Nelson. Great defense. Great recognition. And gets inside of that route and picks it off. And that is going to slam the door on the 49ers. The Steelers are able to get their first victory on the season. One and two. Definitely not the way that the Steelers want to start. But listen, man, there's a bright side. There's a bright side. Okay, you're going to play the Cincinnati Bengals next week who aren't doing that great. You may have an opportunity to get to two and two. And then it's a brand new season. So it's just good for morale, man. The team able to pick their heads up. Young Mason Rudolph shows out, does enough. Still a defense helps him out. And they're able to get this victory as we take a look at the statistics here. And like I said, man, this is going to be a great challenge for me. As you guys have probably can already tell, I'm a, I'm a nutcase about those things. I like the challenge. So I want to see if I can climb out of this hole and see how far I can go with Mason Rudolph. And like I said, man, the recently acquired Minka Fitzpatrick, hopefully that's going to help out the defense. But if Steven Nelson continue to play like that, man, we'll be okay. So as we look at the individual stats here, James Conner and both Benny Snell over 70 yards. Not bad as a collective, even though we want a better average there for James Conner. Juju Smith-Schuster, nine grabs for, what was that, about 94 yards, if I'm not mistaken. And as we take a look at the defense, Quan Alexander all over the place for the 49ers. And that's going to just about do it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. And definitely let me know what you think. Until next time, catch you in the next one. Peace.